Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where we do technical tutorials and reviews from the technician's point of view. And if you clicked on this, you know it's going to be a technical tutorial. So this is a, this will work, uh, EBK 380. These were common on all sorts of vacuums back in the day. Not only Bosch, but they were common, uh, Recar used this, Auric used this, uh, numerous other vacuums used these. Um, and it's basically a, uh, you see how this floats in here? It's like an improved 217 would be my um, best way I can describe it. And you can just see how easy and serviceable this is. This is a, a really a decent nozzle. I say serviceable, which my quick chuck was, there we go. Uh, I'm doing this wrong. Oh, I don't have it. Yeah. There you go. All right. So that just comes off. Now, I've gotten a lot of flack from people in the past about doing this, but I generally put vacuums in the dishwasher to clean them. I don't wash anything by hand unless it's like shiny plastic or something special. And I am putting it in a Bosch dishwasher. And the significance to the Bosch dishwasher is it's got an inline water heater. It doesn't actually have a heating element on the bottom, so it's not going to melt anything. Uh, but some of the whirlpools and stuff don't do it. So make sure it's a Bosch, Mila, Asco, something like that has an inline heater. Uh, and I've used phosphated detergent. That's about it. And this uh, this dishwasher's sole purpose is for washing vacuums. I don't actually use my regular dishwasher for that anymore. Well, that's finished its cycle. Nice and wet. We've dishwashed most of this. That's right, I put a Bosch in a Bosch. Uh, it's time to put this back together. Now the first thing we're gonna do is give these sleep bearings some love. It's been about 20 years since they left the factory. They probably want a little bit of lubrication. And I did not put the motor in the dishwasher. I didn't really see a reason for that. Now this gear does come off. Uh, woo, shit. Looks like mine has a crack in it right there. If you're astute, you saw the bag, you know it's up. Uh, this gear, he is not happy. He likes to come off and break for whatever reason. Let's see, is he a 10 mil? No, he's smaller than a 10 mil. Anyways, so this gear will crack. There you go. And there's nothing to hold on. Now you can do what I'm about to do. But you have to be oh so careful uh, when you do this. Now these motors had sleeve bearings. They need to be lubricated. Always give them a few drops of oil. Here is the new part. One says two on it. Anyways, you wanna just till you feel the threads pick up. That's basically all you do. Now you could tighten this, but it's really not necessary and don't put any torque on that. We're just gonna soap the belt. This helps with noise. I'm going to put Other thing, so you just want to do a drop of oil in there on that bearing as well. Really, that's that's it. Just turn that. So now, oh, 
all that's good. Uh, so we can just go put everything back together. Now everything's back kind of together. I'm gonna turn everything by hand and just settle everything. If it was newer, I would use the drill, but these plastics, you know, 15, 20 years old. No, I'm not gonna do it on this particular example. Um, brush roller. Uh, and this brush roller is the same way. It has sleeve bearings on either end. You just want to put a drop of oil in there. Uh, Triflow, I have a link below to that if you want that. Um, I also have a link below to all my tools and stuff. And it doesn't really matter. These are not eccentric. All right, unfortunately, our camera battery died there. But as you can see, we have this all back together. And this just goes like that. You'll see this kind of bounces up really is an improvement over the uh, SEB217, in my opinion. And you can see that this is going to rock on, but it's actually going to go on in certain parts. Um, just trying to show you all. So that just goes on there like that. Give it a nice wipe down there. Looking good. Then I've got the machine here plugged in for y'all so you can all get to hear it. Let's make sure it's on. And that's how we do that. Well, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have questions about your Bosch, comment below. Um, check out our other social media and stuff. We're also doing a vacuum discussion discord server, so link below to that as well, along with tools and supplies uh, in the normal places. And have yourself a wonderful day.